Hey guys, I just wanted to make a really quick video to answer a question that I've been seeing on uh, the forums, the Mercedes-Benz forums, the uh, W204 forums, and the AMG forums. Um, a lot of people, and I see a reoccurring question, is I hear a rattle noise coming from my rear deck. What is causing that rattle noise? Well, I'm going to show you what it is, and I've always been more of a visual person, um, so when you actually see it, you'll understand it and why it's occurring. What's causing that noise is when you're back here inside the car and you're driving and it's a nice quiet day, you hear the birds are chirping and then suddenly you hit a bump and you hear this. That noise, that rattle can noise is happening from the center seat belt bearing right here. The seat belt still works. See? It still works perfectly. The last thing I want is to put a sound system inside this car and every single time the bass hits, I get that. That is very frustrating. So let's uh let's go ahead, take this thing off, and then start working on that right there. So to get this module off, you need a 17 millimeter deep socket. Put your head on there and then loosen it. it. Comes off fairly easy. So guys, something to note that's very important about this seatbelt module. See right now how it functions beautifully, but if you guys put it in a position where it's upside down, like God forbid the car's upside down, it's gonna do this and you guys are gonna be freaking out like, oh shit Raymond, I just broke my center module it didn't break it just thinks it's upside down get it straight get it level give it about two seconds to reset and then you guys will be able to resume normal services and functions so now that I have this puppy off of here it looks like it's just held on by one two uh, looks like there's a third three plastic clips that are holding it in place I'm gonna go ahead and pop these plastic clips off and take a look underneath and see what is causing this rattle noise effect. To open up the plastic casing, it's held on by these push screws right here that you need to actually stick something in and give it a little push. Now loosen one, and then you go here to the second one, give it a little push. There's two that are loosened. God, it's hard to fight a seatbelt when it's gravity's going against it, right guys? This third one's gonna be a little bit tricky. Got it. Fourth one. There we go. That's it. Uh, that's it right there. So with that being said, we should be able to pop this baby open. All right. Maybe missing one. There's a clip. Bottom side. There we go. So as you guys can see, there it is, all exposed. And there's your culprit. Okay guys, I got the module open. And you can hear, no more rattle. What was causing the rattle? There's a metal ball in here that is designed so when the vehicle goes upside down, the metal ball acts like a counterweight and forces this tooth to engage into the seat belt, preventing the seat belt from continuously loosening and the passenger hitting the ceiling of the car. So you can see here it is, seat belt's upside down. It's gonna go. But it does not affect if the seat belt is in a forward collision. It still engages. So if this is something that you guys like, definitely hit that like button and hit that subscribe button and stay tuned. Keep up with this modification that I've been doing with the C300. By the time it's done, this car is gonna be a show car and that's that's my ultimate goal. Um, I'd love to have you guys as part of the community. I understand that some of you guys are from the Mercedes forum and that is an awesome forum, but a lot of people are visual. A lot of people need to see things hands-on and you guys can bring that expertise that you guys posted on the forums here on the comment section and comment and help some people out. It's really, really a good feeling when you guys at the end of the day have helped someone that 
has a problem and you guys have the answer. And with that being said, I'm going to get back to work on this car, so peace out.